here at five. It was six weeks ago when a contaminated site along the Detroit River partially collapsed into the river. Tonight, the defenders breaking new information on the case, along with some startling images to show how the situation has worsened. Yeah, let's bring in defender Karen Drew. And Karen, this is disturbing to say the least. Oh, yes, it sure is, Kim and Devin. This is the site of contamination concern. Now, this is drone video from back on December 5th. You can see there was no hole there. Now, take a look at this. What happens? The defenders shot this video yesterday. You can see a massive hole has formed. We're hoping we're going to put that on the screen there. And that's not the only thing that we found out. The owner of the property was supposed to give the state a remediation plan. It was due on December 26th. Nothing's been handed in. That's very irresponsible. I think it should be very concerning to the Eagle and uh, EPA and all concerned. Great Ward is the president of the Detroit Windsor Truck Ferry. We know objectively there's contamination in the soil and we know that soil is being eroded into the Detroit River every minute as the river water rushes against the soil. We're talking about this spot along the Detroit Riverfront, known as the Revere Copper Site. Listed for decades as a contaminated site due to its use of uranium and other dangerous chemicals back in the 40s during the race to build the world's first atomic bomb. And they found all these chemicals in the soil. We know that's there. That's not somebody's memory. That's objective material. And all that's in the river right now. And more of it and more of it is going into the river as this sinkhole continues to progress. Just yesterday, the defenders flew our drone over the area and look at the sinkhole size. This is becoming very deep. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a brighter green. According to documents, Erickson's, who owns the site, had to submit a restoration plan to the state within 15 dates of receiving this December 11th letter from Eagle. The defenders learning no remediation plan was ever sent in. The letter goes on to state, river sediments beneath the unauthorized fill material contains elevated concentrations of contaminants. Please consider an interim activity that would protect the now exposed shoreline. All that river erodes into the soil continuously now that there's not a dock. Pretty soon we're going to have ice in the river. That's going to do further damage to the spill site. Now, meantime, we did reach out to Erickson's, who owns the site, as well as Detroit Bulk, who leased the site and was storing all that aggregate that went into the river. We're waiting to hear back from them. Yeah. But what about the water quality? I know we had reported that Eagle did some testing, and it's yeah. okay. So, so. That's what they said. And remember, they are the same ones who oversaw the 696 ooze situation. So definitely you want to take a look at this. I asked them for images. Take a look at this map. So the t there's three red arrows. The top red arrow, they did a test. The bottom red arrow, a test. And in the middle is actually where the collapse is. Well, Ward, among others, said if you take a really close look, that's not exactly where the collapse is. It's above that site, so that really isn't a true sample. Meantime, Eagle standing by the results. Oh. We are not letting go of this one. We are going to be upstream. You're not getting a exactly. sampling of where the That's trouble right. is going. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, All right, Karen. Karen. Well, let's get